helping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned Club Kings of Europe? And now the night everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It's Arsenal taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Gabriel and this is how Liverpool will line up Alisson begins in goal Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas and in this tactical setup they have just the one player in attack Endo A lot of excitement whenever Bukayo Saka is in the lineup. Stuart, what might we see from him in this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. It will be a goal kick here. Virgil van Dijk Liverpool have given it away Trossard really fine piece of defending play to break us up Luis Diaz Wataru Endo Harvey Elliott and on to Alexander-Arnold he read the situation defensively and did his job Thomas Partey White and here's Saliba Partey Declan Rice William Saliba and they need to get tighter here but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Elliot Alexander Arnold Harvey Elliot Endo Luis Diaz Liverpool in a position of menace Tomiyasu it's with Gabriel Kai Havertz Ben White a oh, potential danger and making the move to the inside must take the lead here that is a tackle and a half and that will do it for the first half here at the Estadio Metropolitano 
So back underway here into the second half. Plenty of support here. Textbook defending inside the box. Gabriel. And Havertz. It's with Gabriel. Ben White. Now with Havertz. Trossard. Oh, the threat is there. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. Well, they're going for the short one. Martin Odegaard. Gabriel. Oh, great defending. Intense pressure. Alexander-Arnold. This is Salah. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Crossing opportunity. Mo Salah. And he did what he had to do defensively. Elliot. Jack Paul. A good and fair challenge. Martin Odegaard. Ben White. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Alexis McAllister. 20 minutes remaining. Alexander-Arnold. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Harvey Elliott. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. And strong play here. Can they nudge in front? Must be! Well, off the post and behind for the goal kick. Well, he strikes it nicely and it's a good effort, but in the end, not quite good enough. Liverpool regaining possession here. Jota. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Throw into Arsenal coming up. Tommy Yasu. It's with Gabriel. It's with Takahiro Tommy Yasu. Declan Rice. Jesus. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? Can he put them in front? Given away by Arsenal. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Luis Diaz. And support available. Grafenberg. didn't happen for them in attack what about the stoppage time situation two minutes the word 
Gabriel Jesus. Oh, this could decide it. Really important tackle. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, back on the way here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. And a tidy tackle. Fisted clear. Not really the ideal clearance. Can they jump in front? Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, Jurgen Klopp can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for him and his team. One nil then. Martinelli. Rice with it. Martinelli. The fans want to see a shot. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Under real pressure defensively. Will they pay the price? Diogo Jota racing forward trying to catch them out good strength to keep the ball well sadly they just couldn't keep possession well the electronic board showing one additional minute and players waiting in the centre on for them genuine chance oh yes a goal exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Maybe after that, penalties, we'll see. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Oh, big chance! There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating! Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Well, the 
there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Declan Rice. Gabriel Jesus. Well, he's got past his man. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Being pressed and pressed high. So a throw in here for Liverpool. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Delivering it, just far too close to the goalkeeper. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Big chance, blocking it. Well, nothing comes of it. How about this? England's most successful European club have done it again. Liverpool, the winners of the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat, but what an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The kings of European club football, Liverpool. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And that's exactly what they're doing.